Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with more of Summertime Saga. So, let's go ahead and get into the game. You're probably wondering, maybe, Scavenger, what are you doing in the basement? Well, well, the, the, the dirty old man, the, the, the Muay Thai master at the gym requires a sacrifice of panties to train me in his mystical ways and i um i came down here honestly because i thought well you know what um i saw some dirty laundry down in the basement and i i happened to see some of debbie's panties sitting right there on top of the laundry basket so i thought i would go down there and just grab those up before she does laundry but i didn't make it she's already here she's already got the laundry and so well i'm screwed but that's okay i'm sure there's other things we can do other ways we can get panties um, maybe talk to some people, see what's going on. So let's go ahead and get started. See where this game leads me. One other thing I did, um, I did discover, and I will show you guys, uh, eventually, is, um, you know, when we talked to Debbie in the bathroom stall, that did not get her out of the stall. We're, we're going to have to get her out of the stall, and there's only one way to do that. We'll, we'll do that eventually, but, uh, I need to figure out, oh, it's midday right now, so I need to figure out what I've got to do. Did I not get, did I not get the book from the library? Could have sworn I got it. All right, let's go to the library then. Could have sworn I got this damn book from the library. I need a damn book. Oh, sh oh never mind, okay. So, there's nothing I can click on here. A book in here at all. That part's under construction. The game is still in development. Oh, um, dictionary. This is the French dictionary. There we go. Uh, sweet. Wait a second. Some of the pages are missing. God damn it. Now what do I do? Hey, so I got this book here, you see. Um, but you see here, um, it's missing some pages. Oh, my. Oh, this will make things very difficult, I think. Okay, it doesn't fucking matter. Does it, does it really matter, Miss Pose? French isn't that great of a language, is it? Um, damn. Let's see. Hold on. I have to ask a classmate? Mmm. I don't want to do that. What am I? No. Judith? Yeah, Judith might be able to help. Um, and I think she's still in the bathroom. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. Judith's still stuck in this bathroom. There's only one way to get her out of here. So let's go to the, let's go to the old locker rooms. Where? is Judith anyway well Judith is crying her eyeballs out still in the girls locker room so we're gonna go in here and I've, I've already done you know this going into the stall talking to her but but let's just skip all this part hey Thomas I just want to stay away from everyone we've already done all this no one likes me, and everybody makes fun of me because I'm so damn ugly. Um, and I, I'm like, no, you're not ugly. And then she's like, oh, really? Yeah, I think you look good. And, you know, being nice to her and everything. Because you got to be nice to people. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they don't look as attractive as other people. You just got to be nice. Oh, hold on. And then she's like, wait. Stay here a little longer. And I chose to not stay. I was like, yeah, we might, we might get caught and get in trouble. I chose not to stay, but we're going to stay this time because this is the only way. So, okay, I'll stay. Do you remember the other day when, when we were both in the locker room in front of Annie? Yeah. Well, I, I like the way you looked at me. Um, hmm. It wasn't just your eyes. It was your body also reacting. Was it my breasts that made you so happy down there 
Oh, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, don't be sorry. I really liked it. I was wondering if I could, you know, see it again. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and appease Judith. She's in, a, she's sad. She needs something to cheer her up. So we're going to show her. Okay. Well, she feels better, which is good. All right. And she said, hey, you want to do this again sometime? We can do it again. I like that, Thomas says. Okay, well then, see you later. I think uh, she's out of the bathroom, but I need to talk to her about French. Hey, Judith. Uh, yeah, I don't care about any of this other stuff. I got to talk to you about the French dictionary. Do you have a moment to talk about the French dictionary? She's like, okay. Yeah. Can I borrow your dictionary, Judith? I did just let you uh, do some other stuff in the bathroom. I, that it made me feel uncomfortable. Oh, she, look, she's like, yeah, totally you can borrow it as long as you're careful. Well, that's good. All right. I, I'm, I'm glad she trusts me. I hope I don't do anything to break her trust, to be honest. That's what I'm concerned about. Copier. Okay. And press this button. Remember, okay, PC load paper. What the heck does that even mean? What? Why do I have to? Why do I have to deal with this? Oh my God! I have to load paper. It's always something, isn't it? And I probably got to talk to this girl. Who is this? This looks like Jude. It's June. It's a. Is this Judah's sister? Okay, having trouble with the printer. Um. Yeah, could you help me out, please? Okay, June's a nice person so far. She, and she's good with electronics, so she says. She's self-proclaimed electronics genius, so hopefully she is such. All right, sometimes you just gotta cycle the power. Uh, we're we're just gonna we're we're gonna work it out here, figure things out, boot it back up, and oh, oh her butts. Oh, she got a little butt crack. She got a little plumber crack going on. Uh, hmm, damn. She can't figure it out. This you worthless piece of... Meh. No, she's just... Don't, you better not ruin that book. Judith will be so upset. She trusts me. What? Uh, it'll take a while. I don't have time to deal with it today. No! I need her today. I wanted to get Judith's book back to her today. Oh, he, uh, Thomas hits it too. Everybody just start hitting it. Your strength is too low. I guess I'll check back with you tomorrow then. Sorry, Thomas. I've got to get strong. There's so many things. So many things count on so many other different things. This is... I didn't expect it to be this damn hard. So I've got to work out. And and to work out, I've got to find panties. And to find panties, I've, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Um, who's Kevin? I think, I think uh, the last time I played it, I was told I should check in with Kevin. Oh, this is this Kevin? Hey, it is Kevin. Okay. Kevin, dude. 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 I've got to talk to you about some shit, okay? All right. I don't it doesn't matter what else is going on, but let's just skip through all this. I got to talk to you, Kevin. I got serious stuff to talk to you about. I can work out. Kevin can help me out. So I don't have why didn't I think of that before? It's so simple. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go to the gym right now? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay. Well, Kevin says we can work out in the morning or, or we're, we're making an agreement to work out in the mornings. Um, or is it the afternoons? When are we doing this? Hmm. What am I convincing Eric to do? I wasn't reading. Okay, I gotta talk to Eric. Who the fuck is Eric? Who's this? Give me that milk. <laughs> um, should I go upstairs? Huh? Uh-oh, who's Roxy? Oh, shit. Who are these people? Whoa. Oh, hold on. What are they talking about? 
What? So Roxy doesn't do her work. She doesn't show up to class because she says she's been busy. Can you believe that? What? No one cares about me. Oh, shit. Miss Dwight Dwit. Is it DeWitt or DeWight? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Miss DeWitt, we'll call her that. She's like, oh, no, you didn't. What could you possibly be busy with? Terrorizing other students, no doubt. I kind of like not Miss Bizet, but uh, the, who's a, who's a lady in the green? She's the art teacher. The art teacher's looking kind of good. She's looking kind of good. She's a, she's her she's a little crazy. She's got the crazy hair going, but you know you know what they say about freaks, right? You know they say about the crazy ladies. So that's Miss Ross, as in Bob Ross. That's why her hair is probably like that. A little Bob Ross. Uh, a little, little, you know, shout out to Bob Ross there. Okay. She, she doesn't care. Roxy just doesn't care that she's... Why am I even listening to this? It doesn't even matter. Okay. I'm sure there's something that we could use here. Hmm. I'm just going to run through this conversation because I really don't... Oh, shit. The coach is here. Um... Oh, she's about to get kicked off the cheerleading squad. Now she's upset. What? Yeah, that'll get you. You got to have your grades up if you're going to be playing sports and cheerleading's a sport. Sorry, loser. Okay. That's right, you dumb girl. Oh, she's so sad. She's so sad now. But how am I supposed to catch up? Yeah, doing your do your homework and show up to class, and I don't know I don't know what the art teacher is gonna do. It doesn't matter. Have you ever heard of karma? She says, "Who cares? Let's go, let's go." She's completely screwed. Oh shit! Now she's gonna be like, "Ew, what do you want?" Yeah, see, what are you looking at, loser? Uh, from the sounds of thing, I'm looking at a girl who's about to flunk out of school. Ha <laughs> ha. Screw you. And now Roxy. That's not very nice. Didn't you hear what Miss Ross said about karma? Oh, I hate this stupid skull. <laughs> Look at that. That vein on your forehead looks like it's about to burst. <laughs> yeah, serves you right. Is there anything I, I can do in here? Miss Ross is nice. She's She's given her condolences about my dad. That's good. What? Well, there's nothing going on here. We're going to try to work on our grades and all that good stuff. As usual. Uh, oh, after class today, I'm going to hang out with Miss Ross. Okay. All right. So when can we do this then? Where's this slab of clay? I'm ready. I'm ready to do it now. Where the fuck is a slab of clay though? That part's under construction. Oh, there's the clay. Look at this guy. He, he knows what's going on. Uh-huh. He's like, what, what is he doing? He's making of a JJ. He's making a penis. Uh, and I made a giraffe. Yay! Now what? Huh? What? Oh, what? Hold on. It's so long and thick. What? 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 Oh, you mean the neck. <laughs> yeah, that too. It's very well done. Well, what do you mean that too? She's like, oh, it's so long and thick. <laughs> oh, the giraffe's neck. Yeah, that, that's also long and thick. Oh, what are we going to do about these low grades of yours? I think um, I think we're about to have something going on here between me and the teacher. Oh, her eyes are getting narrow. You know what that means? She's thinking. She's a brewing up a plan. I can think of more than a few uses for those talented hands. Maybe we should start with a little after school. Ross, where are you, you quack? Oh, Jesus. The principal's a bitch to everybody. Okay. You better not be doing naked meditation again. Whoop, oh. 
Oh, there you are. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm with a student right now. Psh, he's just gonna have to wait. I need to talk to you about all this stuff you ordered. You mean the art supplies? I don't know. Whatever this stuff is, it's not happening. But, but... Oh, man. The principal's such a bitch. But, Principal Smith, we need those art supplies. Our equipment is in shambles. I can't give you what I don't have, now can I? This is some bullshit right here. Straight up bullshit. Okay. Well, shit. That sucks. Every year it gets worse. What about, uh, what was this stuff you're talking about, though? About getting my grades up, though, Miss Ross. I'm ready to study. Let's go. Oh, come on, Mia. You No, come on, Mia. Get out of here. I'm trying to study. Some after school one on one sesh with the teacher. You're ruining everything. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? The, the budget's getting smaller. My grades are not improving. Mia's in the way. Uh. Uh, they can't cut our class. Mia, we're not worried about that right now. We're worried about my grades. If only I could find a way to increase the funding a little. Hmm. How much money would you need? Oh, that was that was Thomas talking. He said, uh, Tom is going to help out. I, I'm not sure. Would $1,000 help? Uh... Oh, only a thousand dollars? That's that's all you need? I shoot, shoot. We're gonna enter the mayor's art contest. Yes, and we're gonna win that thousand dollars in stuff. Mayor Rump presents. Oh, good old Mayor Rump, giving a thousand dollars. That dude's a billionaire. He, he can give up more than a thousand dollars. Okay, Miss Ross, you should enter. Oh my god, that would be great! Oh, she's like, no, I wouldn't have a chance. That's uh, anyway. But Thomas might. <gasps> what? My huge giraffe neck. He likes. She likes his giraffe neck. Styles. Okay, so obviously we know where this is going. Thomas is gonna have to enter that contest. What if I promised you? Oh, she's going to raise my grade. That's not what I wanted. That's not the way I wanted to get A's. Damn it. Just for... Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I'm getting an A in art. There, there. There you go. Thomas loves hugs. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to come back to her class tomorrow. And then maybe we can study. Maybe we can get that one-on-one -on -one session going. Okie dokie. So, it's time to go home, get a good night's rest, because tomorrow's a big day. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, as always, smash like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We will be back with more Summertime Saga next time. Bye-bye.